So when all the girls die in light with like clownfish, the guy becomes a girl. So does that make Finding Nemo really weird? Oh, hey, people are watching. <laughs> Hello. See, here's my theory. No. Yeah? What's hey, everybody, theory? welcome to Spagoots. <laughs> wow, way to leave me hanging. <laughs> Another episode of Top 10 Face-Off. Top 10 Face-Off. We don't know who won last time, but you'll, you'll, find, you'll hear from the beginning. I ruined everything. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. How I also haven't you? finished the end card. So let's find out who wins oh, shit. so I can Wait. color that really fast. How dare you? This is just a train wreck. So welcome. Like, right now? I was like, oh, I have two weeks. Uh... Do we want to restart this? No. <laughs> Good. So this is Top 10 Face Off for Top 10 Pixar Films. Pixar Films. We figure Pixar... Oh, yeah. We figure that everyone who knows what Pixar is knows that Pixar can make a pretty diddly darn good movie. So and we're going to celebrate that. most of the time. <laughs> And then there's mm. cars. Hey, <laughs> hey. We don't talk about that one. Let's just keep that out All of right. the discussion in general. What is the cause? So I'll go first, I guess, and then we'll go on. So, oh, by the way, for those of you who don't know who are new to the show, um, we all give our top ten listen at the very end. You leave a comment saying which one is your favorite. Boom. Vote for Ryan. Vote for Ava because Ava is the best. Because I'm Ryan. Vote for Ava. Uh. <laughs> oh, thank you, yeah, vote for Jordan. Ava. Just, just leave a comment right now saying I am voting for Ava, and then under that, time. put your real vote. Pretty sure that exact exchange happened last time. Jordan, yeah. you said vote for Ava, then Ava said vote for Jordan. Oh no, my God, are you serious? Okay, wait. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So let's let's get this show on the road. So I guess we'll start with my number ten. Top my number, 10. T- my number ten for the sole purpose of spiting K is cars. <laughs> Deal with it. <laughs> Deal too. with it. No, not Cars 2. Just Cars 1. Uh, no, Why? no, mine is Cars as Are well. You what? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Why? <laughs> Why? I honestly, I honestly think Cars is a, pr- is a pretty decent movie. I like it. Yeah, it was decent. It wasn't. It's a good movie. It wasn't crap. It wasn't really that the bad. The universe is a little strange, and then Cars 2 and 3 kind of... Sorry, this is Cars mine. 3? <laughs> I do. Are you a seer? I distinctly remember watching at Christmas time and being like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> See, I, I actually did I like see, 12. I did see both Cars movies, and the difference is definitely like huge. And Cars still gets like a very nice vibe to it with some. Yeah, pre- Cars isn't terrible. It's I like not the music. Bad. Cars two it's is terrible, just, but Cars I, two isn't <laughs> terrible. Cars two is garbage. Yeah, but Cars is still all right, and that's what earns it a top ten in my book list. Same. And Kay agrees. Okay, who goes next? <laughs> Would you like to you, you said it first, Jordan. Okay, okay well, I guess I'm going. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. All right, uh, so my number 10 is Monsters, Inc. Ooh. All right. Same. What? I just think all yeah. around. <laughs> oh, wow. What's going on? I just think all around it's just really solid, and Boo is adorable. And yeah. It's just, oh, it's my just gosh. A, it's a solid film. Oh my gosh, Sully being like a dad you to her. You and me, me and you. We are the both of us together. <laughs> yes. I just, it, had so, it has so many quotable, memorable moments and so many characters that you just want to hug, except for Randall. Randall sucks. Um, Hashtag okay, put everyone back where it came from. Like or so awesome, help me. But his, his Everyone goes to lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Dinner's cancelled, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so, I, I guess we're moving on to Ryan already. That was fast. Number nine. Um, I'm gonna have to give number nine to Up. Oh. Oh, what? wow. Yeah, I know. Seriously? I love you. See, the thing is, it's really beautiful, and the first ten minutes of it are the f- best first ten minutes to any movie <laughs> ever. But I feel like... And the rest like... of it is just kinda... Well, it isn't... The thing is, it isn't bad. It's oh, just no, like... Not, it's not, just like not, not really a memorable rest of it. Like yeah, if it, it's, if it's the rest solid of, for the rest yeah, of it. Yeah, it's definitely solid for sure, which is why it's on the list. But the t- the first ten minutes just completely sell the whole movie. <laughs> yeah, this is true. Like, and of course, like, and and a good testament to that is the fact that whenever anyone talks about Up, they talk about that first ten minutes. Yeah, because although it's the re- beautiful and and Unlike, maybe Doug. Oh. Yeah, maybe. But Doug. the rest of it, unfortunately, isn't really that memorable. But regardless, it's still a fantastic movie, and I love I it. Still- I thought the art direction for it was fantastic. Oh yeah, the art direction like, is great. Oh yeah. gosh, like it's I could just stare animated. at all of them forever. Yeah. All of the scenes, every single one. All right, I guess I'll go next. I, was, I thought uh, Kay was gonna go next, but. Oh really? Okay. Yeah, since well, she I mean... said same. Come on, icing on the cake. Oh, are we sticking on the with cake? an order? Okay. I guess yeah. Okay, uh, my number nine is Finding Nemo. Ooh, uh, the popular story so low. It's a cute movie, but I have the same thing about it with 
that you just said about Up. It's like, you watch it once, and it's like, oh, that was a good movie. But it's kind of just like, you watched it once. It's like, eh, you could, you don't have to watch it again. Sweats. I saw it five times in the cinema. Right. (laughs) (laughs) I'm not kidding. I I disagree. Can I just say that I love how you were like, yeah, you see it once, and that's it. It was like, I saw it five times in the cinema. And you're like, yeah, what she said. (laughs) Hey, man, I don't know. (laughs) It's all right. We have different opinions. That's what makes us special. Wait, Jordan, what were you going to say? I was just going to say, I, like, I disagree, but cool. Yeah, we'll find that out later on the <laughs> All right, list. Well, I don't want to hear it, so bye. We'll figure it out later in the list, <laughs> oh, won't we? Just kidding. It's getting controversial. All right, Jordan. In this episode's <laughs> All right, my number nine is Wally. <gasps> oh, I love that movie. I thought you were about to say same, and I was going to lose my mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you, don't worry, don't worry. Wally is pretty high on my list. Oh, yeah. I, I like Wally, and I, I think uh, they, they were able to convey a lot with characters that don't say much at all and oh, yeah. i think that's really clever but i don't know i like it's really good but it, it wasn't as good as the other um, ones to me yeah I, of course what i feel oh sorry no, no you first Ava. um i feel like they kind of marketed it as like a space adventure but it was really just kind of a smaller story than they were letting on and i was a mm. little to be honest i was a little bit disappointed when i first saw it in the cinema like it wasn't yeah. what i was expecting but well, for some reason, regardless, for some it. reason, Pixar has a thing with marketing movies in a way that people don't expect them to be like <laughs> brave. Um, right? What was that? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Accurate. Um, so Ava, you're number nine, or was that Jordan's number nine? Oh, mine. Uh, my number nine is Monsters University. Ooh. Oh, I like that one. <laughs> yes. Me too. I, I like it. Like I like all of the films on this list, but like. Um, I feel like this, like, yeah, like, it's kind of like the same as last time, the rest of the movies, I love them a bit more, but this one, I just kind of, I think it's like a fun journey, and like, I know it's kind of your regular stereotypical... Oh, it's definitely uh, like the most cliche of any of the yeah. movies, but the execution is really fun. Yeah, I, I, like, I haven't watched that many buddy buddy movies, I guess, so it's kind of new to me. Yeah. So I guess this is one of the most enjoyable yeah, I mean, ones that I I've seen. Yeah, I think that's, that's, that's a decent argument for any, like any movie because it's like yeah. oh it's like it's like every other college movie it's like well i haven't seen a lot of college movies so to me it's yeah exactly movie. yeah and not to mention if you follow the cliche and then do it well there's nothing wrong with following and the they cliche. did it well unless like, you like unless you try to sell it as something too. original yeah, i thought it yeah. was so imaginative some of the things that they chose to do like the classes and like the big um climax at the end and then it turns <laughs> out like that big thing that sully did is i'm trying not to spoil <laughs> it that can design is boring dull a waste of a monster's potential Turn to page thirty. <laughs> <laughs> college in general. Like, See, it, it's I funny because <laughs> like it came out right as I was making the transition over to college, and yet mm-hmm. I actually did not get to see it, which oh, wow. is weird. So I know what I'm doing tonight after I draw <laughs> shitty MS Paint drawings of every Steven Universe episode. Yes. Spoilers. That's gonna be beautiful, though. It is. All right, so uh, Ryan, what's your number eight? I will tell you what my number eight is. You piece of. <laughs> All right. <laughs> My number Deputy eight is Ratatouille. Ratatouille. <laughs> Ratatouille. <laughs> Ratatouille. I, I love me some Ratatouille, man. Maybe I just really like France. I like Patton Oswalt as a voice actor. I like the idea of, like, freaking, they go like, what if a rat can cook? And then someone's like, <laughs> who keeps inviting this guy in? What Keep if inviting rat him in. He has good ideas. What? What if rats had feelings? What if rats had feelings? <laughs> rats had feelings? <laughs> Meanwhile, there's like a rat, like like there's this guy wearing a skin suit. There's actually just a bunch of rats underneath, just trying to like hold their tongue. Like, uh, mm. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes. I'm sorry. Did you just He's skin right. suit? <laughs> yeah, oh, no. With a bunch of rats inside. Skin suit. <laughs> like, like a rat posing as a human in the conversation where they're like, <laughs> "What if rats had feelings?" And like the rats just all like, uh. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Can He's we talk right about this a little bit. Wait, wait, wait. Can we talk about this? How did they acquire this skin suit? Moving on. Okay, your turn. They... Number eight. <laughs> number eight. <laughs> My number eight is Monsters, Inc. Hey. Because it's cute and... Yeah, yeah it's cute. It's cute. Yeah. Obviously, we are not as passionate say? about this as we were with Steven Universe. Yeah, of yeah. course, but it, <laughs> it's it'll work. It's still fun to talk about them because they're nice movies. And yeah. What did you think of, like... um? The bad guys in that film. Okay. Um, the short French guy. Yes. Oh wait, no, <laughs> wait, I'm, I'm still thinking about Ratatouille. I'm sorry. 
The short red monster. Yeah. Oh, oui, oui, monsters. Did you watch like a like a video brief? Oh, sorry. I was so confused. Oh, oui, oui, scare tactics. Okay. Oh fuck. Okay, anyway. so we should move on before something else happens. Eight. Take the shot, Ryan. <laughs> no, stop, stop, stop. We can't end it. Jordan, number eight. <laughs> my number eight, my number eight is Toy Story. Ooh. Controversial, why? What do you mean controversial? I love it. A lot of people think Toy Story is like the cinematic masterpiece of a generation. Yeah. It's not my favorite Pixar movie, but Are I Are you one of it. those people, Ryan? Because no. you sound... <laughs> my... No. No. <laughs> That's um, a really specific some set people. of wording. <laughs> some body wants. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, moving I mean, on, moving it's on. It's just it's it's really good, and it, it's it's a it's a groundbreaking movie in uh, in the sense that it was the first CGI feature length movie. CGI film. Nerd. And not only that, <laughs> but it was I knew that too. Really good at the same time, and I think that's a, that's a really good feat, and like that was such a good first impression for movies of this medium. I don't know. I, I really think... like it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it, it just reminds me of my childhood, that film. Yeah. Yeah. It's um, like, all of them do. Wait, Ava and Jordan, what were your number 10s again? It was the Monsters, Inc., right? Mine was Monsters, Inc. Yeah. Inc. Okay, yeah, because you all have the same thing. Sorry, I'm logging it so we can have a total at the end. Right. Ava, <laughs> what's your number 8? Tell me. My number 8 is Brave. All like, right. <laughs> I know that it's kind of... Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't what anyone was expecting, and I don't think it's, like, the best movie in the world, but it just kind of... It has a bit of like, it has a bit of like a special meaning to me because that was one of the last um, films me and my sister watched together before she moved out, mm. and I don't know, it's just the feeling of family in that film, and the way that they conveyed the relationship between Merida and her mother, and the music as well that has like such a special meaning to me, and it just reminds me of my sister and how much I want to give her a hug. <laughs> Aww, <laughs> feels. Throw up Hunter Ophelia's future me. Who <laughs> <laughs> um, was my face posted on it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, now now Chaos redraw it. <laughs> All right. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> but seriously, Jordan, I can't believe you put Toy Story at number eight. Seriously? Like... Look, look. <laughs> anyway, my number seven is Toy Don't Story. Worry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> Didn't see that one coming, really. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sneaky. All right. Yeah, my number seven is Toy Story, um, sort of highlighting what Jordan said, um, basically how, yeah, it was definitely groundbreaking, and it was like, holy crap, this is possible now, and it still had a great story behind it, but, again, Pixar just has such a wonderful track record now that everything else is beating it, and it makes me feel so bad to say it's <laughs> long on the list! No! <laughs> like, no, that's understandable, because, like, um, story, like, the, the stories that are being told now are, like much more developed and like stronger than they were back then oh yeah definitely still, like it's, it's, it's still, still it's strong still like and everything. A classic. yeah definitely it's because definitely a classic well, and it's still definitely a, a really excellently executed movie well because they what have happens, time to oh sorry <laughs> no it's all right well what happens i realize is that we spent so long trying to like make our movies look the most realistic they can be and we've gotten to a point where it's almost like i don't want to say stagnating because it's still getting better as time progresses um but We've gotten to a point where we're not focusing so much on visuals to wow people anymore as much as we're focusing on the story to get them invested. Cause, Which is what's important. Yeah, because like with Toy Story, like they could have just had that movie be there and it could have been a story about a guy eating poop for an hour and everyone would be totally down with it. Maybe not. Maybe I'm stretching the <laughs> I'm truth I'm sorry, there. what movie um, are we talking about? <laughs> the one from the Rick and Morty yeah, commercial. Anyway. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, but... but Point is, bottom line is that Toy Story, really great movie, really great classic. Um, other movies have gotten better. Kay's turn. Um, my number seven is Wally. Cause Ooh, it's Wally. So cute. And then the it's Wally, adorable. and then the cockroach, and it was just oh, so cute. Okay. I want to. That's a cockroach. A I want to cuddle. It was just a cute little what? <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> Holly, good movie. Okay, move on. <laughs> All right. Nice. I just like a little intermission there. My number seven is up. Yeah. Wait, where is it? Seven. No, it's up. Oh, fuck. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. <laughs> All right. Why? I, I mean, we've, we've already talked 
a good enough amount about Up. It's the first ten minutes are so impacting and just so brilliantly so executed, just with like little to no dialogue, but yet you still feel the emotions hitting you hard, and the rest of it is good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty much it though. Yeah. The climax yeah. is pretty good. Oh, oh yeah, yeah and then, and then, the uh, dogs near, in airplanes. Near the end, near the end, it gets really good as well. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so happy that he got like a family. And it's everything. like it's like yeah. a good solid movie, book ended by masterfully executed. <laughs> yeah. Dramatic moments. Yeah. All right, and uh, Ava, your numero siete. My numero number seven. siete is Toy Story. <laughs> oh, you should have saved me. <laughs> Regardless, yeah. <laughs> you um, card. I put it. I put you? it as number seven <laughs> pretty much because of the same reasons that we were talking before. Like, um, how it's still a really good movie, but like the way that we've told stories now has progressed from back then and how now the films that they're making now are much better. And oh, yeah. but it's still good. It's still good. <laughs> I don't yeah, want to hurt anybody's feelings. Of course. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, um and I guess we'll move on to numero six. My number six is Monsters, Inc. Hell yeah. Yeah, I think I'm the last person to mention... Uh, that was delicious. Monsters, Inc. Uh, <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> so, Monsters, Inc. is a wonderful movie with... You just like... So... Uh, it's number six because it's a really interesting idea, and it's the first time they like decided to like come up with something other. And like with Toy Story, it's like just get toys, baby to boop, with Bugs Life, get Bugs, baby to bop. But with Monsters Inc., it's like, all right, let's create an abstract idea. Let's do this. Isn't the multiverse like canonically like established now in the Pixar yes, world? Yes, but it's a thing. Are you still <laughs> laughing at my burp, Jordan? <laughs> no, it's a uh, get toys, baby to bop. Get bugs, give it up. <laughs> All right, let's make an abstract idea. <laughs> 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 but um, and I think, and I just think it's, and I just think it's just so like brilliant. And not to mention the voice cast, I love it to death. Billy Crystal, Bay, John oh, yeah. Goodman, Kimball, more like John me. Bayman. Um, <laughs> Steve Buscemi, more like Steve Buscemi. Um, <laughs> I don't know who else in the movie, but um, oh. Always watching Wazowski. <laughs> My favorite voice to do ever. All right, and that concludes me for Monsters Inc. Uh, number six from the K. <clears throat> My number six oh, is bad. Ratatouille. Ratatouille. Oh, yeah. Getting My number fire. six is Ratatouille, and because it's really cute. My my answer is gonna be that it's really cute. No, but um, <laughs> I don't know. I just thought it was pretty interesting, and I like. <clears throat> okay. I'm, like, a sucker for the, like, lengthy, awkward, gangly, like, Aww. characters, yeah, you know? Yeah, Linguini, yeah. Yeah, With Linguini's bae. Linguini's such a cutie head. Like, you... Right. Like, <laughs> actually, the same person. Who knows, dude, no. Dude, no. Rat-a-tata. Rat-a-tata. <laughs> yes! When she got drunk, that was so fucking funny. Okay, but anyway. So, yeah. I love how they straight up let him get drunk in a kid's room. He was... Oh, I just realized he was hammered! <laughs> Absolutely just shit face. <laughs> That's what I love about about the Brad Bird Pixar movies. They push the envelope so much. Also, uh, speaking of so May twenty ninth is going to be great. <laughs> oh, that's my birthday. Yes. <laughs> my twenty first oh, yeah. birthday. I was like, the fuck is May twenty ninth? Like, I don't know. <laughs> okay. We're gonna so, get drunk. So now that I've foreshadowed something nine months yes. in advance. Yeah. <laughs> All right, number six. Uh, for me, Toy Story two. Ooh. Yeah, nice. Aww. Higher than Toy Story because they 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 built upon characters that we already love and put them in new, just more dire situations, and then introduce new characters and still manage to make it like Classic. interesting and keep the old characters interesting as well. And then the whole like double Buzz Lightyear thing was hilarious <laughs> and just like, oh man, it's just. Man. Did you know that um, they catch, actually son. originally had like they had a story, but they had to scrap it like months before the release date and oh, restart yeah. from scratch? What I didn't know that. Well, okay, it was it was because it was originally meant to be a uh, direct to DVD movie, um, and but then like they looked over it and they saw that like what it was was actually pretty solid, so they just they turned it into a theatrical movie. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, I'm glad that yeah. they did. They extended the length. They they uh they upped the production values. 
in a few months. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. Don't tell me about as long as it takes for the pilot to come out. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, that, um, that's amazing. Yeah, it's it's Holy a super shit. cool story. Which I is love yeah. Um so Ava, your number six. My number six is Toy Story Three. <laughs> Ooh, all right. <laughs> Literally just two Toy Stories next to each other. But <laughs> I just, this film, I feel like they, they perfectly timed the release date of every single one of those films. Hey, when was the release date of this one? Um, sorry? When was, oh, when like we were going yeah. off to college, like yeah. Andy? And yeah. When everyone was kind of grown up, a little bit older, <laughs> and they wanted to share it with... We. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, me. <laughs> God damn it. Sorry, well, reflex. Like, <laughs> the mate and call of the uh, Steven Universe fandom. We are the crystal dates. Yeah. Okay, I, I forgot where I was ta- what I was saying. Where I was uh, talking. The release. <laughs> release date. Oh, yeah, they, they, they timed them all perfectly and just have like the most emotional impact on us as like um, adults because we were uh-huh. kids when they first came out. Oh, Shit, Ryan. Ryan, please put a sock in his mouth. What? How? <laughs> I don't know. Metaphysically. <laughs> <laughs> it's just funny because, like, I don't No, know socks in your mouth. Shut up. <laughs> I'm too tired to talk about this, like, analytically or properly, but, like... All right. It was so pretty, this film. It was gorgeous as well. Like, every scene, I could just feel like I was in them. Like, I was... Before the film came out, I was watching all the promos and the stills, and I was just going, like, this is gorgeous! This is one of the most beautifully rendered films I've ever seen. And I just... I couldn't wait for it to come out. And that fucking scene, at the end, you know exactly (laughs) one that I'm talking about. Yeah. I was in tears. I was What movie are we talking about? Toy Story 3. (laughs) Toy Story 3? (laughs) Guys, all your guys' voices talking together in my ears, I just, I have no idea what's going on. If, At least you're I, awesome I, I gotta, I gotta distract myself for not, uh, unless I go crazy. But then if I distract myself, I'm not listening to the three voices playing in my ears. So then I just get lost. Alright, so I guys. guess we'll move on to number fives. We're going to the top fives now. Dun, 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 dun. Halfway. Dun, 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 dun. All right. We're already halfway there. <laughs> And Wait, is that a SpongeBob reference? There. I can't remember. And I'm yes. almost okay. there. Ooh, nice. <laughs> so my number five is Wally, Woo, because yeah. like I argue that like everyone, like you would mention, like it sort of advertised itself as a space epic, and I think in a way it kind of was. Like, yeah, you have the silent protagonist in the beginning, and then like for thirty minutes you have no speech, and then the rest of it you realize it's like this almost I don't want to almost like dystopian future, like. Literally a world run by robots. Just saying. Robot apocalypse. Hello. I can't um, wait. I love robots. Yeah, exactly. Robot <laughs> apocalypse in space. I also like how, like, genuinely creepy and, like, ominous a lot yes, of Yes, and feels. desolate. Like, I was scared the first few, well, I mean, like, <laughs> first just, few minutes. Yeah. Like, not even just, like, the world. Like, the tone of the movie, especially near oh, the yeah. end. It all seemed really just kind of, like... Yeah, the freaking steering wheel bot... Yeah, I'm I love sorry, him. humans. I'm oh afraid God. I can't do that. I'm, I'm gonna talk about. <laughs> I'm just gonna talk about this later. But literally, 2001 is like my favorite film ever. So yeah. I think you mentioned that last time, but <laughs> yeah, you mentioned it at some point. We've heard it before, but regardless. Uh, but, but okay, numero five. My number five is Inside Out. Ooh, still haven't seen it yet. Gotta take it. Yay, Jordan! Wait, Jordan Woo! saved it. Yeah. Yay! It's the first time we've shared an answer. Oh my god! Ever. Oh my god! Oh, Jordan. Okay, but anyway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you memes. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah. I mean, I thought Inside Out was pretty good. Um, I mean, I personally don't have the same like, oh my god, Inside Out, what a movie kind of things that I've I've That's seen me, a lot though. of. Give me time. <laughs> yeah, like, like I don't have that same feeling. I cried like, during I was... scenes that weren't sad. Oh, Jordan. I, I like it because of the world building it did. Oh, Being yeah. Being able dude. to create what inside the mind is, but, like, in simple ways. That, oh, yeah. I thought it was really cool. Oh, the concept in itself is totally not original at all, but the execution perfected it. Yeah. I'm kind and of I nervous think, about it. I've like, not even okay. seen it yet. The, the thing, like... Like... Uh, I'm trying to figure out what I'm saying. Okay, Pete Doctor. <laughs> He directed Up, Monsters, Inc., and then Inside Out. And I feel like he's finally getting to the point where he's able to make movies that, like, just all of it is perfectly 
leveled in terms of just how good it is. Because, like, we talk about Up, we say that, like, the first ten minutes and, like, the, the last part of it is really good. Then the middle is kind of – it's 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 still good, but it's less good. And then, yeah. you know, stuff like Monsters, Inc., some could argue that, like, some of the plots – some of the plot points are, like, just a kinda little dry. bit inferior to the rest of it. And, like, it, it's just kind of uneven in that sense. But then Inside Out, like, throughout the whole thing, you're invested. Yeah. And there's there's never really a point where – you can say like, oh yeah, this was this wasn't as good as this part, and yeah. that's what I love about Inside Out because it feels so complete. Oh, yeah. Just, and that also, sounds... I like how they I like how they tackled uh, like actual feelings of like depression. Yeah, I think that's really cool. Also, really looks cute. Sorry, I haven't seen this film. <laughs> you haven't seen <laughs> Inside just... Out yet? No, I don't go see things in the cinema. I buy them on DVD. Got it. <laughs> Got it. All right. Well, then, I don't have a car. No problem. <laughs> All right. So, what's your number? Cinco. Yeah, that number. Oh. Um, up. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> okay, God damn it! I'll just go with Isn't that like now. the shitty ripoff version? Isn't that like? That's like there a is a sh- yeah, I've seen it. It's amazing. <laughs> oh my god. I seen Maybe that on Tumblr. Like a, like a let's watch of that. Dude, yes. I I have done a let's watch of that with friends. We oh. need to see Sparky's Big Adventure. But anyway, um, go it on. Sounds Continue. Amazing. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much, we've, we've said so much about Up already, but yeah, it's like, the first ten minutes, I was laughing, and then I was crying, and then I was crying more. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I and feel I like, dead. yeah, ex- essentially, but like, I feel like when it got to Carl Fredrickson in his bed, and was like waking up, I feel like that kind of sucked me out a bit, a little bit, which is why I wish they'd kept that tone, like I ke- wish they kind of... Because like when you're talking about films, they usually have like a emotional juxtaposition, yeah. like right after a sad scene or right after a happy scene, they'll have a sad scene. Like the probably the biggest whiplash moment I've had with that is Mulan, but I wish they kind of kept that s- sad tone rather than kind of bringing it immediately into the funny stuff. If you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I wish they like, kind of. If, and if if yeah. anything, it, it's it's more of like a desire for like a smoother transition between. Yeah. Them. Yeah, if they got the transition, it might have worked a lot better, because that's, like, if there was a smoother transition, maybe people would remember it for more than the first ten minutes, but yeah. then again, it's hard to follow something like that sometimes. Mm, this is true. Yeah, anyway, I mean, sorry, I keep getting other cool. It's cool, no, we like hearing this talk. <laughs> you were saying, Jordan? Sorry. No, it's, 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 it's one of those things where it's like, I know that I personally could not have written it any better. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> like, I don't fault them, it's yeah. just... Something to think about. Yeah. <laughs> Something to chew on. I get you. Yeah. All right. On to number num, four, because we're taking a good while. Uh, <laughs> numero four is, for me, is the populist film that everyone loves, Finding Nemo. Same! Oh my god, me too! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Dude! <laughs> I left out from a full row again. Yeah. <laughs> You're you left inside out. <laughs> You're the program, Kay. It's some bullshit, first of all. It's <laughs> happened again. One day it's gonna be one of us. Don't you worry, Kate. Yeah. No. One day we're gonna get all four, and it's gonna be the biggest celebration ever. So um, yeah. I guess we'll just take turns we'll talking about Finding Nemo. And air horns. So I guess I'll go. I guess I'll go first. Um, it's a surprisingly simple story, and they executed absolutely perfectly with a lot of feels. And Ellen DeGeneres kicked butt. The end. Can't wait for That's Finding Dory. Finding Dory is gonna be amazing. I feel I like. Oh my God. Like Finding. Also. Just... Oh. Finding Nemo is such a well-rounded movie. It's beautiful as well. Like, that, those underwater shots, though. Oh, my God. Oh. Yeah, I was about okay. to say, it's not, the like, scene, cartoony. Okay. One of my favorite scenes, just because of how, like, just how, like, raw the emotion is and just, like, how well they executed, like, the real feeling of, like, panic. Like, when when Marlon is, like, swimming, like, looking for Nemo and he lost the oh, boat. Oh, God. Like, when it's showing him just, like, swimming and it shows, like, the top of the water. And, and like, there's nothing. Every Everything is silent except for the music. It's just, like, dun. It dun. sounds like he's yeah, an execution. He's, like, dancing and he's, like, looking around frantically and there's nothing. And it's just perfectly that scene, executed. At the end, though, well, near the end with Dory and him, when it's just, like, quiet. And they're oh, in, yeah. like, this greenish-toned water. Oh, my God, the lighting in this movie, though. Holy fucking shit, it's oh, gorgeous. Ah, oh, just... Every scene, it's beautiful. And, like, the, the title sequence as well. I was just, like, blown away when they had, like, yeah. the light coming through the water and the serene oh, music. Oh, my heart. <laughs> I just want to watch but this yeah, film that, again. The scene where... 
Nemo is lost just oh my god it hits me every time and then you know then they they even they further that with things like the jellyfish scene god I loved watching that scene as a kid because I'm that just like a fucking sadist that movie is like <laughs> Panic the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I, remember Man, I, had, I remember I had so a, well. I remember I had like a Game Boy Advance video game for Finding Nemo. That jellyfish part was a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag relatable. <laughs> <laughs> like we're all talking like, dude, this part tore my heartstrings out. I played that game as a kid. It freaking sucked. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord. Well, so I just want to say like. I know that it was like a really intense scene and everything, but when he's like jumping out of the water and he has to go down to breathe in the water, it is funny. Yeah. It's like a weird like funny, but it's weird because not only does it like keep the panic up with like the deep breathing, but it's also kind of like a funny moment. So you're like, <laughs> oh, how do I feel about this? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, All right. Okay. Number four. Number four. Oh, you guys are gonna let me in on this little party we're having? Okay, cool. <laughs> you're already talking about finding me though. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, I know, I know who we are, okay. Let me give you a nuggie. Uh, no, thank you. I gave um, you a nuggie. It's okay. <laughs> Great, <laughs> awesome. Okay, my okay, number you have four. Stuff. I didn't. My number four is The Incredibles. Ooh, all right. Because Ooh. it's a fucking rad movie. I am so <laughs> into, like, superpowers. It's, like, a damn good movie. Like, oh, yeah, dude. Control, like, fucking Violet's so damn bad. I could, it I was... could talk about this for a long time, but... It was such... Uh, everything, uh, Edna, like come on, Edna mode. syndrome, like oh, oh it's so good. All so good. is the best. No tape so, is so, so memorable. So so Dude, good. Dude, I think he was, I think he was a voice. I think Brad Bird voiced Edna, Edna yeah, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah. He did. yeah. Okay, but are you also forgetting where she rolls up the fucking magazine and pull yourself You're together? together. <laughs> She's the best. You are last girl. <laughs> oh, that is so. I funny. wish okay. that is, is this a question? Edna. <laughs> 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 It was such a great movie. I love okay. All right. What on is to... Jack Jack's powers? God! All of them. <laughs> uh, yeah. Every single thing. He's oh, like a jack of all trades. <gasps> he what? <gasps> Guys! Oh, I just what? got it. Oh my god. Oh my He's god. Jack Did we just trades. discover? We we cracked the oh. code. Oh my god. Okay, that's it. We're ending the episode right here. Guys, his hair okay, is a okay. triangle. His hair is a triangle. But wait, there's more. Dun, 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 dun. Zoom in on that. Dun, 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 dun. All right. He's All right, top threes, top Among threes. The maters confirmed. All right, top threes, top threes, top threes. So my number three is Toy Story 3. Oh, my God, me too. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Fitting. Bingo. Uh, Because threes. All right, but um, yeah, I'd have to say that um, I did not have the, all, the full Toy Story trilogy on my list. Because I feel like Toy Story 1 did a good job of setting it up, and Toy Story 2, while it was good, didn't quite make the list, but Toy Story 3 did a freaking awesome job of just closing up in this trilogy. Because, like, the first one, it's like... Well, I mean, you think it was closing up, but... Yeah. Reg well, regardless. Mm -hmm. well, th well, the thing is, it's like, it's like, it's like movie number one, it's like a house and the next door neighbor's house. Okay, cool. Next movie, it goes off to, like, someone's apartment and, like, a toy store, and it's like, okay... Expanding the horizons. Here it's like, go to a daycare, get your ass burned off, and possibly <laughs> die, and then cry your eyes out when your kid goes literally, to college, literally mother! Literally a dictator teddy bear. Literally a dictator teddy bear. Yeah. He, he was a penis potato. No, but I remember Ava was... No, was it Ava? I don't, I don't even know who was pushing up on it, but they were saying like how like the, the daycare lighting, like the colors, it looked so... Mm. And the the freaking them setting themselves on fire. Okay, I should have said that better. But I cried. That's the point. <laughs> Man, that was me. That's Except like that's by that. far the best of the three of them. I may have screamed in the theater when the claw came down <laughs> loudly. <laughs> it's funny because like you're it's, so it's brave. A, when you think about it, it's like slightly kind of like a predictable plot point. Yeah, because, like the fact is like, like you, where you are the aliens? Not gonna actually die, but you're like they they. I they thought they were gonna die. See, they make it seem like they're willing to take that risk. Yeah, they're freaking feeling it, and you're feeling it, and you're like, they're ready to die together. Oh God, I just realized. Oh God. And yeah. I cried for at least an hour after watching Toy <laughs> Story Three. What? I am the right brain. <laughs> I have feelings. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little all over the place, but I'm trustful and lossful, and I'm looking for K to give number three. Okay, my number three. I did it. Thank you. Fuck you guys. <laughs> My number three is Brave. Oh! Ooh! Ooh! Like, actually, Brave, like, I am obsessed. Like, Brave is such 
I love that movie. Merida is. Mom, like... it's just me, boo. <laughs> I can respect that. I love. I just everything about it because it's like everyone has those like. Okay, yeah, I the marketing was a little. <laughs> the marketing was. Okay, well, Jordan's not here anymore. Um, but... so... <laughs> no, but nice. um, you killed like, him. I just... He's Shh. dead. Sorry. Irrelevant. Irrelevant. <laughs> um, yeah, Brave is just. I just love that movie and like I had Canon Merida as Ace, and that's hella rad. So yeah. <laughs> All right. She's like my I princess. That. So yeah. I can respect Brave that, is, man. Brave is like. Oh yeah. My shit. Okay, we're done. Uh huh. This is my shit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so uh, Ava, your number trace. Yeah. My number three is The Incredibles. Yeah! Alright! I love everything about that film, TBH. Like, I watched it with um, basically a bunch of my childhood friends, and <laughs> the funny thing was, we all wanted to be uh, the, the Incredibles, but we couldn't decide who we wanted to be. My brother wanted to be Dash, but his best friend also wanted to be Dash. But I also wanted to Fight be Dash. Fight to the death. And I don't want to be Dash. Dash is, Dash, we had to... Dash is objectively the best character, except for Violet, maybe. <laughs> everyone and everyone wanted to be Jack Dash, Jack. basically, and it just caused a lot of arguments, and then my mum took away the film. <laughs> <laughs> Riveting. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty interesting, I know, but like... Taking the nostalgia glasses off for just like two seconds, I love the character designs, like Brad Bird, holy fuck. Please make more character designs because they're so diverse and so wonderful. And just, <laughs> oh, get Glenn Keane out of there. <laughs> Brad Bird, you do this shit. Please. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> oh, I'm good. I have a confession. I'm sorry. I don't like Glenn Keane. I Glenn, Ke Glenn Keane. I don't. Shrug be shrug. What, uh, Come what crucify they, they me. Uh, sorry, I missed know. everything. What's going on? <laughs> I'm just. Hate? I'm saying I don't like Glen Keane that much. <laughs> what did they make? You don't know who right. Glen Keane is? Wait, are we going on to number two? Never mind. No. <laughs> yeah, right. let's, let's just talk about number two because yeah, I don't want to get crucified. Two, cause... <laughs> no, I'm curious now. <laughs> Look him up! Nope, you're never going to find out. Number two. My number two is The Incredibles. Yeah! <gasps> Woo! All right. This is an awesome movie. So where, where do I begin with this? It's got a banging hot message. That's right. I refer to it as banging hot. Just deal with that however you will. <laughs> Um, <laughs> um, as as it was mentioned, the character designs and some of the some of, like the choices made, like with the freaking plots and just the ideas behind it, oh and gosh. the fro and Samuel L. Jackson and Edna uh, Mode. I still call Edna, Edna Mode to this day. Oh shit. Um, uh, something something. Um, I'm the greatest <laughs> good you're ever gonna get. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you can't have a conversation without mentioning that. Um. Brilliant. Uh, but, but I feel like there's something else I'm missing to discuss here. Because I know there's some... I mean, just the way that they play with all the tropes of the superhero. And it's just like, oh my God, well, like, okay. It's pretty dark as well. Because I, like, literally, like... Killing. Supers were going missing. Yeah, they were and dying. no one was doing anything about it as well. It was, That's like, pretty... strongly implied they were getting killed by the Omnidroid. Mm. It's awful. But, yeah. Up, but still! Like, it, it showed her on the screen. It was like... This all their friends were dying. Terminated. All it's like, you mean like a computer missing. program? And the computer program is all like, no, we killed them. Welcome to the, your PG rating. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the PG rating. All right, so, uh, ba -ba 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 okay. Okay, what's your number two? That's it. Okay. Oh, what? Sorry. <laughs> we're, we're talking about, we're, ta it's, it's, we're talking about dinner. Um, oh, is it it's still back on? Oh yeah, God, it's, it's it what I figured. Everyone's everyone's on their own, so. Yeah, I know the fandom will be up in arms, and everyone will be on their <laughs> own. Recording, I know. Oh my God, dinner renewal. Okay. <gasps> are they um, getting a revival series? <laughs> are they rebooting no. dinner? <laughs> no, it's got to be like an indie film. I got to do it myself. I see. Uh, well, it's your um, number two. My number two is up. Because it's just so pretty, and do you know how many dogs are in that movie? At least <laughs> There are so many dogs in that movie. That's the best response to that film. Yeah, I love, so... I love the reactions here. It's like, do you know how, how many... many dogs 
<laughs> no, dude. It's like we get to our top ten like Disney film, and it's like, so okay, what's your number one? One hundred and one Dalmatians. <laughs> Do you know how many dogs? There's one hundred and one dogs in one hundred and one Dalmatians. There's more than that. Are you kidding? There's one hundred and one puppies. We're not even talking oh, about the adult dogs. And the, and the Twilight Bark. Oh my god. I Okay. All right. So, yeah. um, <laughs> is up like the spiritual sequel to 101 Dalmatians? <laughs> this is what happened after 101 Dalmatians. Yes. So, Kay, oh, what's your what what are your what are your thoughts on up since we've just been memeing this whole time? <laughs> what are my thoughts on up? Well, all of the dogs are awesome. There I want to talk to my dogs. Alpha is like I love that. I love. Oh it. yeah, the voice joke. Kind of a dick, but yeah. no. <laughs> The, no, the freaking uh, Doberman Pinscher. Are you kidding? Wait, wasn't he the one? Wasn't the one whose voice was all like, "I'm going to find you, and yeah. I'm going to." Yeah. Yeah. And that, then, that was actually pretty good. Did joke. you guys see the Kevin um, the short with Doug in it and those guys? And it explains what yeah. he, did. he was on a special mission. I love yeah. that. Yeah, it was really cute. I did not see it actually. <gasps> Google oh, it's it. Adorable. It's so cute. It's all about Doug more and dogs. <laughs> okay, have you seen that? Go to omfgdogs.com. <laughs> Kay, have you seen that? Actually, do it after this video. But... The um, short with Doug and Alpha and Beta and Gamma. No. <gasps> what? I'm showing it to you after the show. Okay. I'm showing it to you. Uh, Jordan, number two. My number two is Ratatouille. Whoa! Same! Ratatouille. Same! Oh my god, Jordan, Wait, what name same! Was... Same! Oh, Jordan, the same what? in it? Same, yeah. Yes! Oh my god, high fives! Yes! Yes, Woo! it's me high fiving you. Oh my gosh, though, every food in that in that in the I, I want to eat it. It's so just perfect. the atmosphere. <gasps> it's beautiful. Oh my Dude. god, the atmosphere and the tone the, of that entire the movie colors. is just so brilliant and just wonderfully executed. And like, like okay, there's a there's a trend in Brad Bird's animated films that is. Fantastic. You get the and feeling he does like it Brad in Bird. The Incredibles too, which I'll talk about. <laughs> I mean, Dude, spoilers! I spoiled it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, th there's like there's a thing about Brad Bird's Pixar movies that just okay. So yeah, Ratatouille is fantastic. I love the ending though. I'm really happy that they ended it differently like that. Same. Like, I just <laughs> every time I watch like the, the dude, movie, the it makes me want to eat job. food. But everything is okay. Like. Just yeah. kind of shows yeah. life might not go as planned, but still it's good things happen. can come out of it. And I just I love That's that like message. The entire character of uh, Greg Universe. <laughs> hey. That's probably why he's my favorite too. Yeah. We need to stay in our lane. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Pixar video. <laughs> Pixar fans will be coming here wondering what this Steven Universe shenanigans is. <laughs> And Steven, then we'll have to have them yeah. waste their oh life. My God. Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. They'll be what? like Steven Hooniverse. Oh God. <laughs> okay, so. We're going on to our number ones. Now, unless we all chose Cars 2 as our number one, which I know we did, we're yeah. not going to have us all have the same number one. So, I'm going to go first, and feel free to yell at me for riding the hype train, but number one is Inside Out. I've not seen it. Because I, I walked out of that theater, and I was like, that movie is 100, good shit right there, mm-hmm. <laughs> Sign me the fuck. So I mean, yeah, dude. No, but let, let me just give me a minute here. Please give me a second. I, I need to get my Go story ahead. straight. Go my ahead. friends are in the bathroom getting higher than the Empire State. My brother, she's waiting for me just across the bar. I'm talking about cigar, Ryan, man. Ryan, 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 I'm Ryan, sorry. I'm, I'm getting excited. So, Inside Out is great because it teaches. It's first of all, um, I'm going to touch on the point that everyone that I know it's a lot of people discuss saying that it's a feminist film in, in the right kind of way. See, there's a lot of people, and myself included for a while, who kind of equated feminism to, like, and I think I touched on this last time, equated it to, you, I am a girl, and I do not have Y chromosomes, therefore I am great. No, this one just decided to say, hey, it's focusing on female leads, and they're just as capable. A majority of them are female, and um, I've heard, like, arguments about, like, the whole um, Riley being non-binary because different genders in the head, but that's up for debate. Regardless, um, so that's one point. Second of all, um... I feel like, oh wait, I had something in here. Oh yeah, it's got a really kicking lesson that I can just get behind because 
It's just like the story of how, and maybe it just applies to me more because I'm like, if you all know me, I'm like a hundred percent the optimist. I always look in the bright side of anything, and I'm always trying to make everything happy. So maybe this applied to me, and I know it probably applied to a bunch of other people. But it's saying that sadness isn't necessarily a bad thing. Yeah, it's telling. I love that. Yeah, it's telling us how, and like, of course, most stories would be all like. Oh, you're just going to mess it up. Oh, no, it was revealed that you are the right person this whole time. I learned a thing today. And, like, of course, with some Jews, you're like, okay, yeah, I saw that coming from a mile away. And with this one, yeah, I see it from a mile away, but they kind of incorporate a wonderful message into it. That just, again, I can really vibe with. And, and not it's... only that, but it's not, it's not just sadness that ends up doing it. It's the fact that they all realize they can also work together. Yeah. Which is funny because it was after that. After that, it's the first time you see one of those little orb things, and it's like, yeah, cool. What if emotions had feelings? <laughs> <laughs> but um, I, but I guess I'm just gonna I'm gonna rave about it a little bit more. Um, the visuals in it were holy butt monkey in Japan, um, because they managed to like perfectly articulate like this whole world they made, because I know um, uh, Kay mentioned the world building in it, and it's beautifully made. Um, the abstract thought scene was incredible. Oh my god, I love it. I loved it, it to <laughs> death. And just, like, some of the attention to detail, even. Like, because if you notice on all the emotions, if you look at them really closely, you can see little, like, pieces of fuzz, like, dripping out of them at all times. Like, they're, they're almost made, made. Yeah, they're, like, made out of oh, particles. I love that. And it's, I love that and it's so absolutely much. beautiful. And just, like, the way they made the world... Not only they made the world, they managed to incorporate it into another story going on in a way that they intertwine at just the right times. And they managed to make it so that it's a world that you can sort of relate to because you're like, oh, hey, yeah, that's my part of my personality. That's my I thing. have a brain. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I have a brain. I can relate to this. <laughs> and it, and as Jordan also mentioned, it helped, like, talk about, hey, this is kind of what depression feels like. And this is what this feels like when you feel this way. And that's the end of my rant on Inside Out. It's an incredible movie. If you haven't seen it yet, I try not to spoil anything. If you haven't seen it yet, please go see it. And final note, um, Leslie, not... Nope's mo Leslie Nope can act. There we go. We're not affiliated yeah. with Pixar or any of the uh, <laughs> other bodies to do with Pixar, by the way. This isn't... <laughs> Just had to do a little disclaimer there, ruin everything. <laughs> Wait, did I, I did I ruin everything? No, no, that was me. <laughs> Who's next? Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll make sure everyone's done. Okay. My number one is Toy Story 3. Woo! Woo! Yay! Because it was awesome, and yeah, it was a good, quote, wrap to the series of Toy Story films, and I just, the, just lots of, okay, a big seller for me is at Disneyland, they have lots of bears, you know? They actually yeah. smell like strawberries. Give me one. And that's I want Yeah, I was about to say, that was, some, that was some brilliant merchandising. They put, like, a point in the movie, and then you, like, buy the it, and it's like, The entire movie Yo! is freaking merchandising. They're all toys. Are you kidding? <laughs> like, it's like a yeah, merchandising it's dream. Yeah, it's just, uh, it was such a good movie, and, like, it could totally end there and be a perfect trilogy. More like, like trilogy. merchandising. I don't get it. Is, is anyone here actually going to go see the fourth one? Probably. Yeah. No. Mm. Well, I mean, I mean, if, if it looks good, then probably. True. Uh, but I'm yeah, going to just like, see what other people say about it, personally. I'm probably going to end up seeing it anyway. I mean, like, if it's just, like, the adventures of the toys around Bonnie's house, then I'll be all like, eh, I like the Bonnie's, the Bonnie's no, toys No, it's not going to be but... the past characters. It was cute oh, the they're, they're, they're making it a romantic comedy. Fuck what? No. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Kill no, you're making that up. They, they said it has little... They said it has absolutely little to do with human to toy interaction, and it's a romantic comedy. What? Yeah. All right. Well, fuck that white noise. Um, <laughs> so we're just gonna. Uh, we're white people. We're gonna talk about. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just in stunned silence. Hold All right. On, my number one. Is I think we broke Brian. Freaking Incredibles. More like the Incredible Ooh. Incredibles. Uh... Right. Because, I mean, it's just perfect. It's a perfect movie. There's, like, there's nothing wrong with it. Why is it perfect? It. <laughs> Why is it perfect? There's nothing wrong with it. What is... Be okay. <laughs> I was about to say. Here's, here's, here's the thing. We've, talk no, we've talked about thing. it already, so I'm not going to say everything about it. Because we already have. But the one thing that just keeps me coming back to this freaking movie, and it's the same with Ratatouille, is that as a small child... 
I would watch it, and I'm like, yeah, I'm having fun with this. You know, it's like superheroes and superpowers and like rats cooking and like all this stuff, and like it's it's just fun and it's funny and the animation's good and all that and it looks pretty and it's just it's great. It's a fun ride, but like I never really watched got it. Watched some it. of the some of the concepts and like some of the plot devices that they would use. Like I would go along with it and I would understand what was happening still, but I wouldn't really understand the meaning behind some of it. And the thing is, with movies like The Incredibles and Ratatouille, as you grow older and you watch them over and over again, you understand the themes more and you understand the lessons more. And you, there's like there's such a sense of maturity to these films. Like, yes. there's such a huge sense of tonal and emotional maturity that you rarely find in kids' films. Yeah, something that I'll say for, um, I'll probably say it multiple times throughout the lifetime of Spagoots, but... Like, shows don't have to necessarily be directed for only kids and only adults. Like, for instance, Incredible is a really good example of a movie that has wonderful elements for kids, and they'll really enjoy it, and they'll eat it up, and they'll be like, yes, Incredibles is awesome! And then, like, the adults will also come out of it going, wow, that was a really deep movie. Like, when I was a kid, yeah. my dad was, like, saying how amazing it was. And I was like, dad, it's just about superpowers. I mean, I thought it was cool, but I don't see what you're freaking out about. <laughs> and now I'm watching it now, and I'm like, oh... That's what he was freaking out about. Because like, you understand, you understand the the stakes of the relationships, yeah. and you understand like the themes behind it all. It improves with age, like a fine wine. It's a, an incredible wine. Yeah. <laughs> God oh damn it! God, what a way to top it off. <laughs> so Ava, it's, what's it's your number one? Like, it's, Wait, never mind. Oh god, it's so perfect. Okay, okay, keep going. All right, Ava, your number one. My number one is kind of it's kind of kind of like a bit of a forget the word anticlimax, but yeah, uh, Wally. Uh, <laughs> Just, I love yeah, robots. Fine. I love robots, and I love space, and I love I love the concepts that they were playing with. I love that they were trying to they were trying to introduce something that's that people can think about more. And I love when the when the captain says, "I don't want to survive. I want to live," because Oh God! That's when hard. you oh, yeah. like, I'm just gonna get a little bit deep here. When you live with Asperger's, people kind of think that you can't do things, and they just want to make you, um, make you live like, oh, this is the easiest way to do things. This is this is the easiest way to do things. Why don't you listen to us? You're just like, no, I can't do that. I want to be able to function in myself, not just with everyone else being a crutch. And yeah. you just want to. You want to have your own autonomy back, and I feel like I really, sorry, I really resonated with like the message in this film. There is that... literally no need to apologize right now. <laughs> yeah, definitely, dude. You're speaking from the heart. Like there cannot be any less of a reason to apologize. <laughs> I just, I really love this movie. When I was a kid, I loved it. When I, I, as an adult, I love it, and just, I wish I could live in in the world of like that little robot just how curious he is and how amazing his world is and seeing all those beautiful new things and being able to have that adventure and being able to help pe everybody around him even though he was like seen as not as good or as or rusted or broken and yeah he was yeah. just as good oh, as man. everyone else <laughs> sorry oh, man. That's, that's, that's not... <laughs> that is a cool theme yeah dude mm. that's that's it's and it's really great because it shows how pixar in general like there are themes that, like, some people might not pick up on, but others will. And it's just, that's how you can tell you made a good story. It's not, it doesn't have just yeah. one theme. It's like, hey, this is the theme. Look at it in the face. They don't, like, point it out and they make it, like, they don't make it incredibly obvious. They make it kind of vague. That way, A, you figure it out for yourself, and B, you find your own interpretation of it in the way that suits you best. It's wonderful. Which I think is what makes some great storytelling. Like, it's not a perfect... F and with that... <laughs> Sorry. No, go on. No, no, go ahead. <laughs> it's not like it's a perfect film, but, like, you can't ever attain perfection because, ironically, paradoxically, perfection... Except is... with The Incredibles. <laughs> but Detail. perfection perfection is a flaw. Actually, and... technically, um, Incredibles wasn't perfect. The whole movie wasn't the Frozen and his wife speech. <laughs> <laughs> if that was just that on repeat, it, it would be perfect, TBH. Yeah. Would. All right, um, but it back... It wasn't the... perfect. It was only an hour and 30 minutes long. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but back to your um, back to what you were saying, Ava. I kind of interrupted you. Uh, I've, I'm just kind of meandering right now, but yeah. It's, hey, it's discussion, man. <laughs> There's never gonna be like a perfect movie, but they have come pretty dang close. Yeah, definitely. It's why they're it's why they're so know. world renowned. Like, 
I totally agree, but the thing is, I, like, I think of, like, The Incredibles, and I'm like, hmm, what's a flaw with The Incredibles? What's, like, an objective flaw with The Incredibles? And I can't think of anything. <laughs> well, I either know, way, like, yeah, perfection like, is kind of subjective, try, but... Like, you, I genuinely can't think of a single thing wrong with that movie. Like, that wouldn't be, like, just straight-up nitpicking. Mm. Yeah. Well, having that said, Brad Bird, if you're listening, Jordan <laughs> wants your babies. So do I. <laughs> Also, All right, so we we're gonna go to our little together. total count off because it's a cute, it's a cool little thing. We're since we have a very small like selection of figure, why not small. add up the score totals and figure out what Spagoots in general rates the Pixar movies? So, at number ten with ten points is Monsters Inc. Woo-hoo. Woo! All right, um, at number nine with eleven points is Toy Story. Huh? Yeah, I know. I expected that to be higher. <laughs> All right. At number eight, also with 11 points, but placing higher on Kay's list than anyone else's, is Brave. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> Kay, rock that influence. What was it? Nope, Kay, you rock the influence. What was it? Um, Brave. <laughs> you could say she gemmed the influence. Um... I get it. <laughs> no, we couldn't. Moving on. <laughs> number uh, seven. <laughs> you made me lose count. Number seven with 21 points is up. Oh, oh hey. Oh. All right, and these two are tied for number five. And normally I do like the who's who plays higher, but they both got number one spots. So um, I'll do a little hybrid thing animation. Watch the video. Look how cool it looks. Wow. What? Tied for number five is Wally number and Inside Out. Is what and Inside Out? Wally and Inside Out. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That me. Do you still yeah. agree? All right, so that would make number four is Finding Nemo with 23 points. Oh. Number three with 26 points. Oh, my God. Points. That, Sorry. that makes three uh, movies on the list so far that match up with my actual list, like my separate list. <laughs> yeah, this is scaring me slightly. Continuing. <laughs> spooky. Um, three spooky five me, dude. <laughs> um, do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, dude. I love that song. Sorry. Me too. Um, number three. Number three, Ratatouille. With 26 Whoa. points. Number two, Toy Story 3 with 31 points. And number oh. one is, of course, The Incredibles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jordan. The- Are you okay? That's two times in a row that my number one got number one. <laughs> so, so everyone, thank you for sitting through this long video. Wow, we're about to reach an hour, aren't we? Dang. Lord. Oh, this one will be shorter. We don't care about this stuff <laughs> as much as Steven Universe. <laughs> well... <laughs> That just went out the window along with my computer. Shots fired. Take the shot, Kay. No, we're ending the episode. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Shot, Vote Ryan. for your favorite. Take the shot, Jordan. You're a coward, Ryan. No. <laughs> 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 oh, God. Hey guys, Jordan here. The votes for the previous episode of Top 10 Face Off are in, and to my uttermost appreciation, they have crowned me as this week's victor. Thank you guys so much for voting in favor of my obsessive love for Steven, and hey, even if you voted for someone else, thanks for your participation. Now go forth and vote on whose list was the best this week. If this is your first Top 10 Face Off and you're a fan of Steven Universe, please take a gander at the previous episode we did where we face off our Top 10 Favorite Characters. Be sure to subscribe by clicking this picture of Kay taking out the garbage. Just taking care of some trash. Or if you want, you can click the button below this video. Either way is fine, we won't judge. Except for maybe Ryan, he has judging eyes.